Hi, my name is Ryan Hewitt. I'm an engineer, producer, and mixer based in Nashville, Tennessee. I've worked with bands like the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Lumineers, Blink-182, Harry Connick Jr. Today I'm at East West Studios in Los Angeles working on a project, and I've tried out the new PMC-62 Active Monitors. Choosing monitors is pretty tough um, just in general, not even just these days with, the, with like the availability of so many. Recently I've been looking for more clarity, if you will. Um, you know, with the advancement of technology and mixing, we're hearing more than ever. We have more tools than ever to make better music than ever. And if we're still using speakers that are rooted in, you know, 1960s technology, I think we're missing out on a lot. Oh man, mixing is my favorite part of the process of making records, to be honest. Um, I mean, I love engineering, I love recording, I love editing tape and, uh, and producing, you know, but mixing you get to put everything together. When I'm looking for monitors, I'm looking for truth and transparency. Um, there's a lot of speakers out there that are that are hypey, that are non-linear, and I just my feeling with that is that you're you don't know what you're getting. And so if a speaker has a big smiley face curve on it, it's not telling you the truth. You know, if it's got no low end, it's not telling you the truth. If you need a subwoofer just to get it by then, then that, that monitor is deficient in, in some way. So I'm looking for something that's full bandwidth, um, that, is, that can get loud, that can, you know, we can party with a little bit, and that gives me a true picture of what I'm mixing. Have you ever had a mix that was so powerful that you got emotional? Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, I mixed a song, I mixed a whole live record for the Avid Brothers, and they have a song, um, oh shoot, I, uh, Murder in the City. And Seth sang it with such emotion on that night that like I was bawling every time it came to the bridge, you know, when it just gets to this beautiful scene. It's like, holy shit, man, this is, this is what it's at. This is where it's at. This is music at its finest. When there's just a guy on the edge of the stage singing to a crowd with this absolute, transmission this incredible transmission of emotion out into this arena you know and it oh god it killed me every time so on the project i'm working on right now i've got these new 62 active monitors and they've got all this crazy dsp in them that i haven't even touched yet you know we just brought them in put them on the console and i was like wow these sound great you know i'm familiar with pmcs i have a pair of ib1s back at home and these are familial you know, they're familiar because they're in the family of PMC, so they have that, that sound that the company's known for, which is, you know, transparent, clean, um, you know, truth. What surprised you the most about these videos? Uh, I mean, what surprised me most is that, like, you can hear into them. You know, uh, a friend of mine who's a PMC user calls them X-ray speakers. Like, you can see and hear everything that's on the tape. Uh, and you know, it's it's kind of shocking to to go into a new room, use new speakers, and be instantly comfortable working on these speakers. You know, that's that's I think that that's like a hallmark of a of something that was put together correctly. Well, when we popped these on the console and I turned them on, you know, I listened to the mixes I was working on, and you know, I was having I was honestly I was I was having a little trouble on the, my old speakers and on the other speakers that that you know people wanted me to listen to. And I knew what I wanted the mix to sound like, you know, and I, and I know I got it there. Clients were happy, everyone was happy, saying it sounded good. But when I put the PMCs up, I was like, oh, well, there's the mix. Like, this is what I knew it sounded like in these other speakers, but I couldn't hear the detail. I couldn't hear the bottom end that I could hear maybe on the headphones. And, you know, the mid-range, like, a, you know, the mid-range, you know, has that crossover distortion on, on passive speakers that is no longer here. And, and again, that veil was just lifted from that, that sort of distortion in the mid-range. And it's like, oh, now I'm listening to music. I'm not listening to speakers. These feel really good to listen to. I can't believe the kind of bottom end I'm getting out of these little, ostensibly little monitors, you know. Um, you can really feel it, but it's not hypey. You know, the mid-range feels accurate, the top end feels accurate, it's clean, they're easy to listen to, um, they get loud, the clients love them, the artists love them, um, my assistants love them, so, you know, they're, they're definitely hitting on all cylinders here. 
Well, the, the surprising thing about starting with these speakers is that, you know, I dove right into a record, and, you know, mixing a record, and we went to mastering and, you know, the engineer there was like, well, I don't have to do anything to these. And to work on a set of speakers that are brand new, out of the box, I've never heard before, was, I just, I mean, I was so paranoid going in there. I was, I was like, oh my God, he's gonna have to do all this stuff. I don't even know, I don't know if I know these speakers, but it turns out I do. And they didn't have to do anything. And that's like the highest compliment, I think. That's what PMCs have always felt to me for the last several years that I've been using them, is like, I'm hearing music. I'm no longer listening to like my mix or the snare drum or whatever, this, you know, isolated thing. I'm listening to music, you know, and, and the clients I'm working with right now sort of feel the same way. Like they don't think about the speakers. I'm not asking, you know, I'm not asking them like, you know, how do you like these speakers? I just put them up. They didn't even notice, but they're like, God, it sounds good in here all of a sudden, you know? So, so clearly something about these speakers is, is resonating with, with, with people. There is this emotional connection between an engineer and the speakers. That's what we rely on to tell us what's happening, to tell us the truth. And, you know, for me, you know, I dragged my old speakers around the world for 20 years, you know, with the amp and the speakers and the cables and the whole thing, because I trusted them. You know, uh, it's what I came up on, and so I, I just grew to, to know them, and they, they became my friends. You could give me nothing else. You could tell me I have one thing to bring with me. I'd bring a pair of speakers. and. You know, now that I have these these PMC 62 actives, like I'll drag these around with the world for me for however long, you know, because because I need my friend there to tell me what's happening, to tell me the truth.